the morning. A leprechaun is a kind of Irish fairy. You may know that leprechauns have a pot of gold, but you may not know that they earn their gold fairly. Leprechauns are shoemakers and they work very hard making shoes to earn all that gold. If you catch a leprechaun, you can ask him for his gold. He cannot lie to you and he must keep his word. But leprechauns are very clever and they have ways of outwitting humans. Tom Fitzpatrick thought he was pretty clever. One fine spring day, Tom was walking along a country road beside a hedge. When from the other side of the hedge, he heard a little tap, 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 tap. He peeped through a gap in the hedge and saw a wee little man, all dressed in leathers, tapping away on a little bench, making a little shoe. The saints be praised, said Tom. Tis a leprechaun. If I catch him, I can be getting his gold. So he crept quietly around the hedge and seized the little man. He said, aha, now I've caught you and I want to be having your gold. The leprechaun said, I, your honor, that you have. You've caught me fair and square. And now I'll have to be showing you where I keep me gold. We'll be going along this road then. Tom kept a hold of the little man by his jacket. Down the road they went, up the hill, down the hill, around the curve, and stopped beside a large field of thistles. The leprechaun led Tom to the middle of the field, pointed at one of the plants and said, Do you now be digging under that plant and you'll be finding me gold? Tom said, Holy St. Patrick, I have to be going back for me spade, but how will I know which plant it is? I know. He took off his bright red garter and tied it around the plant. He said to the little man, Promise me now you'll not be taking that garter off that plant. The leprechaun said, Oh no, Your Honor. I wouldn't be doing that, but you're not going to need me anymore then. Tom said, oh, no, no, off you go. So the leprechaun said, good luck to you, Tom Fitzpatrick, and may you do much good with what you find. And he was gone. Tom ran helter-skelter back down the road, grabbed his spade, and headed back towards the field, up the hill, down the hill, around the curve, and stopped beside the field of thistles. And what do you suppose? His jaw dropped for around every plant in the field, around every last plant of thistles was tied a bright red garter.